What's up, guys? We're playing some more Sly. We finished a bunch of missions last episode. I think we got one more left. I think there's still one more little treasure thing lying around somewhere that um, we'll end up having to get at some point this episode. Let's go ahead and make our way to the mission. We do a little boink, a little boink, and we're there. All right, what do we got to do, Bentley? Okay, Sly, that's it. The Contessa's giant attack robot. That thing, Look, yes. Bentley, with all due respect, it looks an awful lot like a water tower. Don't be fooled. That's what she wants you to think. If we try to free Murray while that thing is operational, why... What, we'll have plenty of fresh drinking water? I'm serious, Sly. Of course. I do owe you one. The lightning rods around the prison are designed to draw lightning strikes away from the water tower. And giant attack robot. Uh-huh, yeah. By turning the wheels on the rod, you should be able to redirect the electrical current away from its ground wire, rendering it useless. Follow the lightning strikes to locate all five rods. Okay, so you want me to break the ground circuit on all these lightning rods so that a bolt will strike and destroy the giant attack robot posing as a water tower. That's an accurate summation. Alright. First one's right here. Nice work. That lightning rod okay. out of commission. Look around for lightning strikes to find the other Whoops. rods. Okay. I mean, they're pretty obvious where they're at. They're just on the highest places in the map. Let's go ahead and grab this. I need to get up there somehow. And look around, that's fine. Ooh, almost totally fell off there. Okay. Again, I get... This is kind of like that water one where I have to redirect the electricity into... Somewhere. But... I'm still a little confused at where he wants me to redirect that electricity. I'm guessing not into that plate, right? Somewhere else. Can I go to this one? I redirect it somewhere else, and I go to this one. I redirect it into itself or something. Okay, that's two. So that one, that one, and there should be another... Okay, there's another one right there. I need to get on top of this somehow. Okay, I totally almost just fell off there. That's alright. Also, let me turn up my oh, mic thing a little. Okay, there we go. Turn up my mic a little bit. I can't tell if the sound is a little too loud. Okay, one thing by one. Turn that... Alright, so now there should be one more here, and then one outside, if I remember correctly. Come on, strike strike the one over here. Where's the one that's inside of here? Or maybe that was it. No, wait, okay, so there's one... There's one there. There was one over there somewhere, right? Okay. Well, to that one we go then. Um, whoop! I almost just totally fell to my death there. What's the easiest way to do this? Okay, there. I freaking knew there was one right over here. It, the lightning wouldn't ever hit it, but I knew there was one over here. Oh, <laughs> some guy died here apparently too. But anyway, we can turn both of these. If we do that when we turn this, we should be good. Yeah. So all of them just need to be turned once. That was a lot more simple than I thought it would be. Okay, the last one is over there. Okay, we gotta do a little bit of walking, but walking is what we do. Got something on you? No. Nope. Let's climb up here. Okay. okay, no, I can't just get up there. 
Oh, where's it at? Oh, it's literally on top of the train station. Okay. Turn this one. Turn this one. And oh! Oh, my bad. Shot Bentley. The goat. Is it time? Thanks to your recent efforts, we're ready to attempt the Murray rescue. I call this plan the Trojan Tank. Step one we use the Contessa's keys to steal one of her tanks. I'll jump in and drive while you keep out of sight by crawling underneath. With some luck, the guards won't notice anything out of the ordinary and open the prison gates for us. We casually roll in and then blast the security doors to Murray's cell block. Once inside, you'll need to improvise your way up to the guard control center and open the doors leading down to solitary confinement. Let's hope Murray hasn't cracked under the Contessa's hypnosis. Well, Murray isn't known to be the strongest as far as mental goes, but hey, maybe. Wait, oh, okay, I was going to check his powers I'm before. What is this? Long toss. Okay, so that's just the, the ability that he has. Okay. Heading out for the tank. All right, let's go ahead and do our little waddle over to the tank and go to sleep. Later. Okay, I got to remember which one is which. So boosters are R2. Okay, so really we just need R2 and L1. Those are the important ones. Whoopsies. Okay, I totally hit that guy, but whatever. Bro, get out of the... Alright, let's just start the mission. Oh, I can't because I'm... Alright, bro, really... Okay. Roski. Get inside that tank. I'm inside the tank. Increasing the ride height on the treads. There, that should give you enough room. Alright, it's slide time. Crawl underneath this thing and let's get moving. Screw. Trying to do it the fanciest way possible. Alrighty. As long as he doesn't start going speed racer on it, we should be fine. Also, I technically don't need to be under here. He could go in by himself, and I could just be, like, sneaking in over the wall. But, hey. I love I love the creativity. Let's see if they fall for it. Here we go. Alright. Act like this is World of Tanks. Blow that crap up. I've never played World of Tanks, so it's kind of fun, though. Not really, but... You'd better get out from underneath the tank before I let loose with a turret. Okay, you're all clear. Head inside and I'll be right Okie dokie. Let's see what prison's like. I have watched a few prison shows. Trouble sabotaging the tank. Go on ahead, I'll catch up. See those spiders. These are all one hits, right? Okay. No security or anything, they just let me play with the elevator, huh? Okay. I have a slight memory of this map okay, from when I was younger. Well, that should be the guard's control center, but to be honest, I'm not sure how you're going to get up there. Don't worry about it. Thinking of my feet is what I do best. I guess you have to figure it out. I mean, there's a bunch of hooks everywhere for... I don't know why they have hooks in prison, but... 
but a few lights seem to have a backup generator. Be careful. It was definitely on me. All right. I was just about to say, let's retry this, and I instantly get hit by a laser. That's my pure tactical genius right there in action. All right, we're just going to go ahead and up. <laughs> Sucker. Let's go ahead and move past these guys. I really don't feel like fighting them, to be honest. I think they'll be fine without me. Oh, I don't know where I'm going. I don't know what I'm doing. Well, I know there's, there's just money flying everywhere. Can I hide in your toilet? Okay, no. Also, why does this dude have spikes right outside of his cell door? It doesn't seem like the safest thing to do. He's like the one lucky guy every time he wants to exit, he has to risk his own life. Alright, you know what? I'm tired of you. I say that and I get smashed in the head. Oh, oh no. Later. I'm probably gonna get shot, but it's fine. I can just take the hooks. Um, I almost just tried to jump to there. I don't think that, yeah, that was the right place to go. Oh, I need the health. You butt cheek. Okay. Okay, now, go into here, got any money, this guy has no money on him, how are you in the guard tower, you don't have any money on you, that makes no sense. Okay, I'm running your algorithmic code decryptor, you see anything happening down there? Success! We've got access to solitary confinement. Hot stuff, I'm heading down. Let's do it, oh, is there someone trying to fight me? Um, where is... Oh, it's these guys. Whoopsies. Why don't those guys get shot by lasers? Why is it only me? Or, okay, I say that and the dude behind me just got shot, so... Oh, that looks bad. I've never seen Murray like this. Oh, he looks scared. He's all or psychotic. witchy and bug-eyed. You said Murray was being forced to eat spice, right? Yeah, he said he was feeling weird. Well, he's weirded it out, all right. I doubt he even knows we're here. Clearly, we're going to have to lure him out of that cell the hard way. The hard way? Those hypno boxes are designed to heighten the effects of spice. And he's already in an agitated state. So if we turn them all on at the same time, Murray's sure to become wildly hostile and probably break down the door. How do we turn on the hypno boxes? The power switches are all defended by laser barriers. When you get close, I'll hack the laser system from my terminal down here. That should give you access. Let's do it. Anything to help out old Murray. He's looking really bad. Let's go get our boy back. First one should be... Oh, okay, no, I literally... I don't deal with him here. I need to get up to those terminals. Okay, I know Bentley just said that, but... I think you guys have noticed. I'm, I don't pay the most attention. Alright, how do... Yo, Murray, you good? He's tweaking, bro. I'm guessing that is where we need to head up to. Okay, number one. Skirt. Alright, turn it off, Bentley. I'm hacking the laser barrier. Do we gotta do a little minigame? Yeah, we do. And again, um, controls are inverted, guys. You're gonna have to forgive my horrible, horrible shooting. I'm just not used to going... I'm not used to this being inverted for some reason. I should be able to do it pretty easily still, though. Not like these games are super, super challenging in the first place, so. Okay, unlock one of them. Ouch, ouch. Okay, and I just gotta go around. I am not shooting in the place that I want to be shooting right now. There we go. Uh, yeah, that's close enough. It's almost easier to dodge these guys than to shoot at them. 
There we go. Gonna unlock this one. Ouch. Okay. Oh, okay. <laughs> We're good. Oh, okay. I think there was more. I'm like, what? switch to turn on the hypno box. Spooky. What's that sound? Angry. Get <laughs> gone. Get gone. Quarter of the century for Murray. Get gone. Um, okay, I think we can just hop our way onto this one. Right, go ahead, Murray. I'll take care of the laser wall. I can't tell if those are outside or inside the game. That's creepy. I don't like those noises. I have to shoot that thing. Okay. Um. Okay, so this is. Ow. There we go. I just need to not get hit much more because I'm already like down to half health. I say that and I get hit instantly. Alright. I'm gonna unlock this one. Try to get our thing in a place where we can shoot this thing. Bonk. Okay. Here we go. Just gotta do a little quick dodge here. Yeah, these things don't have the greatest AI. They have almost like a one second delay in any movement, so you can just juke them out. Fast and Furious style. Oop, I'm trapped. They didn't go for me. Alright. That was a little weird. Fair enough. Also, what happens to our little guy after we leave? Does he just like stay there and just die and we just leave him? Threatening. Very threatening, Murray. You'll smash up everything. It's very, very vulgar of you, Murray. I'm on it. Alright, last level. Oh, there's two of these turrets now. Let's go ahead and get rid of those. Get rid of that guy. Get rid of that guy. Ooh, now there's three whole walls of these little red things. Little candies. Ouch. That did not hurt as much as I thought it would. Alright, we'll have to stand here and shoot it for a hot minute, but... I'm actually even tempted to... I might do. Let's shoot that one out, and let's go ahead and head over here. Let's just do both of them, and then we can hit both of them at once. I don't know if this makes it easier or harder, but we're doing it, so. Okay, boink, boink, boink. Yeah, with just a little bit of time on the controller, it gets a little easier, even with it being inverted. Alright, there we go. Now both are open, so we just do one. We'll get kind of kamikaze by a few of them, but that's alright. Just juke them. And there we go. There you go. Okay. That's actually, like, slightly terrifying. Like, seeing, like, your, I guess, best friend in that type of state, it's probably not the greatest thing on the planet. That actually jump-scared me. 
I'm not gonna lie, I'm like, um, I can't see him, and I didn't know when he was coming, so I just stood there, because I got scared. Alright. See? Okay, oh yeah, this one will get him. There we go. Okay, I kind of get the shot here. I don't have to just, like, have him... Yo, why was I standing in front of it? I could very easily stand behind it. I... Can he not get past that table? Oh no, he just has to hit every single thing along the way. I don't know why I was standing in front of it. I could just stand behind it, too. Not very giant-brained of me, but it happens. That was actually kind of clutch. Sick. My head! Who? What? Is this heaven? Sorry, pal. You're no angel. Just take a few deep breaths and try to center your thoughts. Okay. What's with all the racket? My conscious mind is a wreck. I ought to... The weak-minded hippo is free! And he's got friends! Hmm. Perhaps it's time to reevaluate some life choices. I'm serious. I managed to keep this half of the clockwork heart safe. It was hard to hide from the con... Oh, Contessa! She's getting away! Hurry! Lift those crank bars so we can chase after her. Alright, let's do it. I'm on it. Hopefully Mori gets a little less cringy from here on out. After that brainwashing, maybe he'll stop referring to himself as the Murray. Okay, number one. Yo, stop with those like the weird dog noise in the background. That's actually kinda creepy. I mean I guess that's the point of the level, but still. But I'm pretty sure the next part doesn't get any less creepy, so. Let's go! Now, I forget, do we get the... Do we fight this now? I don't think so. You lousy, no good head shrinker! Oh, come now, Mari. We were making such progress during our sessions. The only mental help that I need is to never be reminded of you again. Such displaced hostility. If you insist on getting angry, why not be psychologically productive and channel it at your so-called friends? I'm done talking with my mouth. Now I talk with my fists. Sorry, but our time is up. Do we actually get to fight? Okay, I was like, can I just run away from that? I'm guessing it won't actually let me. Can't pick it up, right? I don't like these things. I sly. Hit that crap. <laughs> Are we gonna literally chase her around the entire wall? Oh, can I do the flaming fist? Will that get rid of the spider a little quicker? I'm gonna fall off. Another flaming fist going here. Go. Dude, I'm so close to falling off. Oh, we didn't get that last um treasure. All right, we'll have to come back for that. Ah, she's getting away. Don't worry, pal. We'll find her. With the three of us back together, she doesn't stand a chance. All right. We're gonna have to run back to the map real quick, but... It was great! The gang had been reunited and it was all because of me! Even the van ride out of town was like a party! Furry had to pull over twice because he was laughing so hard! But despite all the jokes, I think something had changed. Since childhood, the three of us had never been apart, and our recent isolation gave us all pause for thought. Needless to say, we took a few weeks off before getting back to work. And for the first time in my life, Murray let me drive. Not gonna lie, that's probably like the most wholesome part of the game right there. 
Because I, I think one thing that's definitely missing... Ooh, episode 5. Okay. Let's quickly go back to episode 4. Just because I want to go grab that um, piece of treasure. One thing that's missing in the game is like the camaraderie before between the three. In, in moments like those, um, you kind of like see it where it's like, yeah, they... They truly are like best friends, you know, because other than that, we're kind of just stealing stuff and it doesn't really show them being like really good friends, you know. There's the treasure that we needed. Um, I think it's the only one left, right? Because we got the other one. Is there, I forgot if there was three or four per map. I think it's three. Either way, we technically went 100% of the map. Let's go ahead and just grab like disappear. We can just kind of grab it again. That was unfortunate. Okay, hideout's over there, right? Oh, oh, it's literally right there. Why did they give us a minute 40 for this? We literally just, like, jump one roof and we're basically at the hideout. Honestly, they should have given us, like, maybe, like, 30 seconds max for that one. This is weird because the first game, with the timing challenges, they made those extremely hard. Like, those timing challenges, they took me, like, a little while per each one. I'm guessing these treasures are, are like the replacement for the timed challenges, but they're super easy. They're like nothing compared to what they were in the first game. Okay. Well, anyway. See, we even had time to just leisure around, grab a couple more trinkets on the way there. Okay, and we can go ahead and sell all this for almost 4k in the loot. Um... Let's go to exit to episode menu. Yes, exit. I guess we should also double check. Did we 100% all the rest? Well, I'm guessing we did. And if we don't, we'll come back. All right. We're going to go ahead and start this. But next episode, guys, thanks for watching.